Welcome to the History of Still Photography Online. This is Michelle Pekansky brock I will be your online instructor this semester. I understand how challenging it is to be an online student for many reasons, and one of them is because each online instructor does things a little bit differently. So I've created this brief video tutorial to help you get oriented to the way I've designed our course, and I hope you find it useful. When you log into our Blackboard course, you will always be taken to the announcements page. It looks like this. This is what you're seeing here. At the top, there's a banner that will likely rotate from time to time. And then down below, you're always going to see the most recent announcement that I've shared with the class. So every time you log in, it's really important that you check down below to be sure that you haven't missed some important information that I've shared with you. Now over on the left-hand side, you're going to see a series of gray rectangles. The top is Announcements, and that is our entry point, so you always enter into the Announcement area. To move to another area, you just click on it. So I'm going to click on Check In, and uh, th these are the items that you are required to complete first and foremost. The most critical here is the Check In Forum, because that has a due date, um, Tuesday of Week 1. And if you do not check in here, you will be dropped from the class, so that's critical. The other activities for the check-in area are uh, listed down below. In the syllabus area you're simply going to find um, the PDF syllabus that you can download and another link to the syllabus quiz which is also included in the check-in area. The learning units area is an area where you'll be spending a great deal of your time. Uh, each week, as you get oriented to our class, you're going to learn that our weekly units open up on Tuesday mornings at 6 a.m. So right now we have Unit 1 available, um, and when a new unit opens on Tuesday morning, you are expected to log into Blackboard, open it up, review it, and see what is expected of you. Each learning unit will always include a unit overview that provides a high-level description and your learning objectives. It will include an announcement from me, and this is where you will see a video announcement as well as a link to read the announcement in text if you prefer or need that. And then you're going to see two folders at the bottom. The content area will include your reading assignments or videos um, that you're expected to watch for the week. And then activities is going to include um, all the details that you need to know for the assignments that you need to complete and submit that week. And in general, these activities will always be due the following Monday at 11 p.m. Below Learning Units, you'll see a link to our Ning Studio. I have created a closed social network. It's a private network for us to interact in. You'll each be participating in Ning um, and keeping your own, writing your own blog throughout the semester. That's one of the activities that you'll find in our learning units, is our blog post that I'll assign to you in Ning. The first week in our class, you will, you will need to join Ning. So I'm going to go ahead and click here just to show you what it looks like. And I have already become a member, and so I'm taken straight in. You will need to join before you actually get into our um, Ning network. Once you're in Ning, you can click on the link at the top that says My Page. It'll take you to your very own page. Of course, I'm logged into Ning as myself, so it's taken me to my page. And it's here where um, you'll see any of the activity that I've contributed to the Ning network. And it's also here where I could go in and easily add a blog post if I wanted to do that. At the top it says share a blog post. Okay, so I'm going to go back over to Blackboard, which is in a separate window. If you have any questions about the class, you can click on the Ask a Question button in the left and that will take you over to our discussion forums. Um, I've set up a few generic discussion forums at the bottom where you can f funnel some questions about specific topics like the class, questions about Ning, or questions about VoiceThread which is another tool outside of Blackboard you will be using regularly throughout the class. The My Grades area is where you go to check your grades. If you have any questions bring them to my attention immediately. About Michelle is just a little bit more info about me. Um, also, it, it includes my email address and um, other contact information. And then Student Resources is going to take you to an external link on the MSJC website 
where you'll find some helpful resources to uh, keep you geared and on track for a successful online learning experience. I hope you found that helpful and I wish you a very successful semester and I look forward to getting to know all of you.